Alrighty, so today we're doing some Bonanza mode. We're gonna try and do some Mortar only today, and Mortar is not good against Moabs here, right? It's gonna be a little sketch here, so we are gonna use powers here, right? We got Big Bloom Buster, we got Spike Storm, and then we got an Eco Boost, because we're actually not gonna use farms. We're not using farms, nor sometimes we do, um, and we'll see how this goes here. We do want a good Mortar map here, and that's not the Mortar map we want. So, late game. let's go late game. That's right, Master Gaming. Let's do it. With a space right there, interesting. Late game. Okay, we're not going late game in Shallow River. Come on. Ooh, lots of space on this map. That's a... Uh, I don't know. That's actually not a bad map because Moors, you don't need a lot of space to defend. Oh, gosh. The natural blooms are going to be so bad. Ugh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. We're still going to stick with it, though. We're still sticking with the challenge. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mortar only. Be big, brave, bold, and adventurous. All right. We're not going to use glue gunner even. Just, just mortar. So... Oh, gosh, the natural balloons. Okay, we're going to put it, like, here. <laughs> Actually, we need an artillery battery stat. Let's go like this. Hopefully, they don't rush us. All right, that's our defense. Actually, we want to stall out the rounds a bit, so let's go like this. All right, those should shoot. Look at they're shooting in a line. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, they're all kind of like one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, so... This guy's got wizard. Hopefully they have farms. I'm hoping for some farms here so this guy can get some money actually up in here. Um, we'll see. They are the wizard, which is a nice late game tower here. If they have wizard, they could destroy us with the wizard only. Because wizard can actually pop ZMGs. I actually think we can't pop ZMGs. ZMGs are literally going to be invincible to the mortar. BFBs, I'm pretty sure we can pop them if we have enough big ones. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh, man. We might have to... Let's go for this. Oh, gosh. We're already leaking down. Maybe we should... Nah, let's get it get it there we go all right we'll put it right right here all right they're a little off sync now that's okay um hopefully we can pop them all this guy's farms excellent they might have wizard farm super bronchi a very popular strat here they've red out spikes which means they have tier zero powers which is good for us which means they don't have like you know some op damage boost or whatever um but now we just sit here and talk all right so what do you guys want to talk about you know what'd be really cool going to antarctica all right, I know it's a bad time to travel, but, like, Antarctica, just to, like, my goodness, we can't pop everything? We have five mortars. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on a second. We're gonna go, we'll put it right there, and we're gonna go for Bernie stuff on all of these. There we go. Anything that gets hit should be good. That should pop all balloons, hopefully. Okay. Um, but going to Antarctica, you know, it'd be cool just seeing penguins... Oh my, like, like, penguins are so cool, you know? It's just, like, they're penguins, you know? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's, it's just, it, they're cute. Animals in general are cute. There's very few animals that I would consider, like, not cute. What's not cute? What's an ugly animal? They're all, like, cute. Like, they all are. Maybe not humans. Some humans are cute. All right. <laughs> you know when you know when you say like when you're talking about animals and you, you you're not referring to humans and some people are like, "Oh my gosh, animals are humans too." I don't know. I guess that's just definitions. Animals are humans technically. I don't know, whatever. I don't know what I was going with that. But we're just talking. We're just having a chill time. Oh man. Whenever I think of penguins, they like, kind of make me happy and stuff. But I think going to Antarctica would be cool. Just like every single time like once you do that, every single time you meet someone, you could be like, "Man, guess what? I went to Antarctica." Like, it's just, you have that experience under your belt. And so, if there's ever nothing to talk about, you can just talk about that. Like, if you're playing BTD Battles, and you're doing YouTube, and you need to talk about something, you can talk about your experiences in Antarctica. Oh, man. I shouldn't... Would be, could I make up stuff? Is that, like, illegal? Like, if I just made up, um, like, lied? I don't know. Let's go... I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, by the way. But, like, if I lied about my... Like, if I said I went to Antarctica and I didn't, could I do that as a YouTuber? For views all right don't lie by the way you need to have a trust with your audience we're gonna put this big one in a weird spot but i think we're gonna they're cry facing why you're crying because my my op mortar strat op mortar strat. we're not gonna use the um eco boost for um for a while maybe like round 20 we'll start using it they have super monkey oh no we're gonna cry face we're gonna pretend that we're we're devastated we didn't see that coming even though it's the most used strat in bonanza mode and everyone goes it all right, that'll defend everything. Fantastic. And we have this mortar too over here. So we'll put it like... Um, yeah, we'll go like here. All right, that should defend all balloons, if I'm not mistaken. 
Keyword should. We don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see as we go late game here. This is not a mortar map. It's really just not a mortar map. Or it's not a mortar only map. No, no maps are mortar only map, actually. Mortar only is actually a challenge. So we need this guy to not rush us. If they rush us with a ZMG, we kind of have to counter rush or die. So, yeah. I mean, not die. I don't know. Die is such a weird word. I don't, I don't like saying die. We lose. You know? We, man. Do you die when, when you lose the game in BT Battles? Is it dying? It's not really dying. It's just losing, you know? Great. <laughs> We should, we should, we could question BTD battles. Like, where do these monkeys come from? You know, I can just buy monkeys, but like, where do they get them? They just go into the jungle, s stealing all the monkeys so people can use them in their battles games. Cause that doesn't sound very legal. That's poaching. It's illegal. Don't do that. Don't do illegal stuff. That's, that, that's my pro tip for life. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, also don't do drugs. Ew, look at that. See that right there, that like zebra? Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go for just a bunch of big ones right here. It, I'm worried about the natural boons because like there's two different paths here. It's hard to hit both paths. You know, if they're all, if it's a one-way path, like any other map would have been better than this besides Shallow River, probably. Shallow River would have been okay because the paths kind of inter overlap, interlap. <laughs> okay, we're going to go like this. Get up a little bit more counter detection here. And now we're good. All right, we'll do that. Wait for round 20 here and we'll start um, eco boosting. This guy's preparing the temple. You can see they're preparing the temple. When they groove up their towers in the corner like that, first of all, if you're placing something in the corner, it's probably gonna be a temple because you're trying to fit in the most temples possible, but you can see it. You can just smell the temple, you know? Let's use this. 320, not too shabby. All right, so we're gonna just push maybe to 9,000, 10,000 eco. Well, we good. They finally got up the factory there. You wanna, you wanna sell to get up the factory. Once you get up Republic's, um, if you want a simple way to do it, you get up three republics. Then you get when you get five thousand dollars, you sell two republics and get up a factory. That's a simple way to do it. Um, the best way to do it is like one republic and then four plantations, and then you get uh, four thousand dollars, and then you sell all that for all the plantations, upgrade the republic to the factory. You kind of just learn. You learn over time. Um, we're we'll wait to twenty two around twenty two to use this next eco boost here. But yeah. We're um, we're just gonna ego here, and then we'll get up our defense. Our defense will be really quick to get up because mortars are beefy. There's so much like they're so circular. They're so you know what I mean. They take up a lot of space, and so it's kind of like that's why mortars so bad. Well, first of all, it's bad against Moads, but second of all, we can't fit in as many. So not only can this guy fit in more towers here, but their towers are just better. So that's the struggle here. That's the struggle. The mortar only challenge. We'll try our best here. We'll see how late game this goes. I don't know how late game is going to go because we're not going to be able to survive past like round 43. If we can make it to round 43, that'd be crazy. That'd be absolutely bonkers, but I don't know if we can. So we're just going to try our best here. And maybe we'll try some mortar only like ceramic crucible or something just for fun. See how that goes. All right. We have a mad eco. 8,000 eco by round 23. That's crazy. So we're going to push to 10,000 eco. Then we're just going to stop, get up our defense here. Then we'll continue ecoing and we'll move on from there. Fantastic. Yo, look at the sun god. It's like, since it's hitting the natural, but it's sniping balloons that are down there. Isn't that kind of cool? It's sniping. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's not that cool. Okay, round 23 lasts a while. My goodness. All right, waiting for some leads. You can't really see, but when you see the leads at the end of round 23, that's when you know that round is over. And the reason round 23, you have to be cautious is because the next round is round 24, where there's a lot of ceramics and stuff. We'll be fighting against ceramics. You know what they won't? This guy doesn't have um, perfect camo protection, all right? Ooh, our big one's barely taking out these blue. It's, it's sketch. It looks like they're about to sneak past, but we're okay. And we hit 10,000 eco. Okay, now we get some defense here. So can we fit this? Can we not fit it in there? Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay. Can we fit one mortar in here? All right, we're going to put the mortars like here. It's going to be weird. So they can hit both paths. Yeah. All right, so we're basically only going for big ones. We need to get up can detection too. So I'm going to go for the can detection right here. All right, are we going to mortar stall too? Do we use the um, mortar as mortar stall? I think we want to. So we're going to try and move the mortars a little to the right here. We're going to go for can detection right there. Because you can buy and resell, buy and uh, sell and rebuy. Why do I always say buy and resell? Sell and rebuy the mortar over and over again and get some pretty good uh stalling going on all right so we're gonna try and do that we get up one more big one for right here uh moabs are gonna come soon round 27 here so we'll see if this guy rushes us or not it's gonna be sketch though uh that looks i feel so naked right now you know exposed 
sketch. All right. I think this is the best mortar spot. Maybe like this top point right here. You can kind of move it around up there. We might have to use um, a big boom buster here because it's so dangerous here. I, I think we're going to want to use a big boom buster, honestly. Like, look at this. Look how much defense. This is like $100,000 in defense right here. And we're going to struggle in the Moabs. Eek. Pop it. Whoa. Okay, no, it's there. I thought it just disappeared. We can do it with the mortar stall. We'll survive with the mortar stall. Oh, I saw it. I see it. Mortar stall. Hit those. Oh my gosh. We don't have any mortars on this side of the screen. If any balloons sneak past, it's bad. Maybe we should have balloons at the end. Balloon pond power at the end. Yeah. Okay, let's put a mortar right here. Let's go. We need to fit this one up here, though. There it goes. Okay, perfect. So we'll go. This is the prime spot. That's where we want to have most things. We kind of want them all around, though, because the balloons. It's just like, it's dangerous. All right, we'll go for like here, there. It just depends if this guy rushes me or not. I can't believe we can't fit. Oh, we can. Oh. <gasps> Nice. <laughs> we'll go like that. Uh, we are popping mobs on their own. We are popping mobs. Oh, yeah, we can fit these. Okay, so I was just in the wrong spot last time. Perfect. I'm excited that we can pop mobs. All right. But keep my mobs get pa uh, stronger past round 32 here. So that it's not going to last forever. And this guy has two temples, three temples. This guy knows what they're doing. What are we going to do? What is the plan? They don't have a stall. Oh, we actually want to leave this open so we can mortar stall, right? That was the whole point. Yeah, we need it. Mortar stall is going to be the key to winning this. So we're going to sell. Yeah, we're going to sell these. Mortar stall. Go for some more big ones right here in this prime spot. I think that's our defense right there, which is really sad. That's our defense right there. T only like 20 towers. My goodness. Uh-oh. We can fit one right here. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. We're good. Ba-boom. Okay. Nice. Get it? Boom, because it's a mortar. Wow. All right. Commentary is an art. You kind of get it over time. You do Okay, I got to be honest. Like Commentary, you it feels more natural over time. When you start out YouTube, you're so shaky and like nervous. Like Go look at anyone's first video. Go look at my first video, but anyone's first video. Anyone's first commentary video. Even like the, the top YouTubers for any YouTube, they're going to be like all shaky. They're going to be like really like quiet and like nervous. And you're kind of like, but then you start to develop your energy because it feels like you're talking to no one. Like literally like right where you are right now, unless there's like someone next to you, otherwise it'll look really weird. But if you're alone right now, start talking right now as if you're commentating, like be like, all right, we're going to grab, we're going to place down this mortar. We're going to do this, blah, that. See how awkward it is. It is awkward. It's so awkward. Oh my gosh. All right. I just, <laughs> I just repeated myself a billion times. That's what YouTubers do. They just repeat it. It's like, that was awkward. It was so awkward. Did you see how awkward that was? That was so awkward. Oh my goodness. I just want to talk about how awkward that was. All right. I don't want to use a big balloon buster yet if we can afford not to. All right. Let's micro this a bit. Micro bits. Come on. Oh, we spike storm on accident using my the part of my thumb, part of my hand. That's okay. I don't think we needed it, but it definitely helped out. So whatever. That's good. All right. That's how we mortar stall. Perfect. All right. Pretty straightforward. We're good. We'll just leave it like that. They're getting up their temples. I don't know how we're going to take them down. I think that our best chance is going to round 43, then all outing them then. I don't know if you can make it to round 43. So, um, BFB's coming round 37, 38. That's going to be rough. Oh, man. We'll see. I think if we use the road spikes, then use the big loom buster, that it does affect the road spikes, though. The, the spike storm. So we can kind of use our powers and, like, kind of combine it a little bit. Have our spike storm do a little bit more effect. I don't know why I'm still ecoing. We really don't need more money here, do we? We good? Let's mortar stall once. Yeah, see how, see how much stronger they are? Let's more stall again. Okay, we're okay. We might have to start mortar stalling now. This map is so bad. It's so... Oh my gosh. BFP's coming around 37. All right. Note that for next time. Uh, I'm going to say we, we need to... 
Look how fast they are. My goodness. All right, we need to we need to rush this guy. They have temples though. There we go. Do something. Oh no, the BFP is getting past. The BFP is getting past. All the mortars. Oh gosh, he might be dead. GG. That, that was... <laughs> oh, man. That's all right. All right, you know what? We can't win them all. But do you know where we will win? We're going to win in Ceramic Crucible Boost only here. We'll try some mortar here, right? It's just a mortar only video. The end. This is the end of your win streak. Ooh, got him. Okay. We're going to do mortar only. We're doing it. All right, no farms, no nothing. We got classic powers here. Actually, this is a terrible map. Let's skip it. This guy, we can take down this opponent. This, they don't look too on their game here. Oh, Concrete Alley's perfect. Lots of curves here. Pl very long. Perfect. Now, here's the question. Can we afford the big one in time? If they were to all out us round 13, would we be able to afford the big one? I don't know. So we probably want to eco to like 400, and then we're going to stop. Maybe even less than that. Maybe like 300. I don't know. The end. Hello, the end. All right. So they're down for it. We will plop down our mortar. Oh, yeah, we can't even afford it yet. Okay, so six seconds we can. Da doom. Okay, where do we put it? We put it right. We want to stall the rounds, so we're going to put it like right here. We're going to go for a rapid reload here. They're wasting the road spike, something I never recommend doing. Do not waste those road spikes. Keep them, they will be valuable. I guarantee you. And even if they're not valuable, who knows? Just a little extra popping power against a ZOMG might help out. It could make the difference, you know? Probably won't, but it does stuff. All right, so let's clear this guy's road spikes out. They got the farm down. The farms are more expensive now, though, so they're going to have way less money for their um, defense. So we got to see some what defense they have here. I expect a wizard, um, maybe a boat. I expect a wizard, though. I think it's going to be a wizard. There's nothing. There's the wizard. Excellent. All right. Typically, people with low medallion counts go wizard. And I, I know that sounds like really like condescending or it sounds like bad because the wizard is not a bad starting tower. It's not. But wizard is really nice um, when you're starting out and like learning VT battles and stuff because it's like, um, it's a lot, it's easier to use because it has that candle led pawn power, right? Candle led pawn power is so tricky to come by on, on um, most towers. But wizard, you just get up that um, right side and you're good to go, you know? It's, it's nice. But the wizard's not necessarily a noob tower. Like a lot, a lot of, I guess, noobs, quote unquote, use it. But like, it's really good. It's solid. Why shouldn't they use it, you know? And it's easier to use it. It's still hard to use. All towers are hard to use. Um, oh gosh, I didn't think about this. But okay, basically what I'm trying to say is if you use wizard, that doesn't mean you're a noob. And don't be mad at me because I said that. <laughs> All right, let's go for uh, Bernie stuff right here. See, like these road spikes would be pretty uh, valuable right here for me. Oh, they stopped rushing. Thank goodness. We'll move this mortar over here to try and save some lives. All right, move you down there. All right, excellent. So we begin our eco again. We're going to go to 350 eco. All right. Yeah, we'll go to 350 eco. Oh, no, um, 400 eco. My bad. I misspoke. 400 eco, and then we're done. We're literally just going to stop. This guy's got the lightning wizard, and they sub, so they'll be fine. Especially if they get the nuclear sub here, they will be A-OK -okay here. Oh, man, ignore my mortar comment. I feel kind of bad for... I, I, I didn't say that, but you do see wizard a lot in the lower arenas. You see wizard farm super and a bonanza mode and stuff. And yeah, it's not a, I'm not wrong. I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> All right. 4 to 12. We're going to stop here. So big one, it was 7,500 here. So let's just go straight for the big boom, the boom buster. Oh gosh. If they send us a camera rush though, or camera region rainbows, we're done. Camera region zebras. We are absolutely hundred percent done. Um, so 7,500 here, we got 1,200 right here. So we need 6,300 here by round nine, by round 13. Can we get 6,300? So 6,300, that's going to be about eight eco boost. That's not that bad. Yeah, no, am I wrong? Oh no, that's going to be 16 eco boost. So 16, 16 times six seconds. Um, that's going to be over a minute and a half 96 seconds okay i don't know if i did my math right or whatever but basically i don't think we can afford the big one in time maybe we shouldn't have ecoed as much we'll see if we can we're not gonna rush them at all 
we're getting kind of close here, but these next few rounds are so short. Round round 10's decent, mid, mid long. But round 12 and 11, oh my gosh, are so short. And that's why farms are so good in these rounds, because they give you money so quickly. Okay. 6,300. We need three more eco boost. Hopefully they Oh wait, we've vill oh gosh, that's cheating. It's cheating. Can we afford the mortar stall? Yes, we can, maybe. Okay, we can afford it just in time. Please rush me. That'd be so funny. All out, all out re regen rainbows. We can afford... <gasps> we did it! Oh, I feel so special. Oh, you're going down. Say goodbye. And they place a road spikes right here. There we go. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Take him down. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so satisfying. I can't believe, oh man, perfectly. Got, we, we were really close to not having enough money right there. If they'd sent any camos in there, we would have been done. Any camos, they would have just snuck right through. All right, GG, yo, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and be sure as always to brush your teeth.